Hi students. So from the previous class, it is very clear that among all the various electronic transitions, only the four electronic transitions are possible when the UV visible light or UV visible radiation is passed through the sample. Is passed through the sample. So those are, the one is a sigma to sigma star electronic transition. And the second one is pi to pi star electronic transition. And third one is n to sigma star electronic transition and n to pi star electronic transition. According to their energies, according to the energy order of these transitions, uh, I have classified them into four types. So which I have already clearly explained in the previous video. So the first and foremost, let us discuss about uh, the sigma to sigma star electronic transition. Sigma to sigma star electronic transition. So the name itself suggests that this particular transition involves the excitation of the electrons from sigma bonding molecular orbital to Sigma anti bonding molecular orbital. Sigma bonding molecular orbital to sigma anti bonding molecular orbital. Now, what are the class of molecules which can be considered as the examples in which sigma to sigma star transition takes place? Sigma to sigma star transition takes place. So, the examples which can be considered in which the sigma to sigma star transition takes place or the saturated molecules. Now, which class of organic molecules will comes under the category of saturated molecules? Saturated molecules, that is alkanes. And not only that, in this sigma to sigma star transition, there is no question of non-bonding pair of electrons. So non-bonding pair of electrons, there is no question of non-bonding pair of electrons means what students? That is heteroatom should not be a part of the example which is considered in which only the sigma to sigma star transition takes place. Now what do you mean by heteroatom student? Heteroatom is other than carbon and hydrogen atoms in an organic molecule is heteroatom. Is it? So, examples are alkanes without heteroatom. If there is heteroatom, then non-bonding pair of electrons comes into picture. So, the good example is ethene students. CH3, CH3, ethene. Right. Now, we are well versed that uh, the bond is the combination of the two electrons. The bond is the combination of the two electrons. Now, since the bond is the combination of the two electrons, so I am writing this in this form, CH3. Now, this bond, I will write it as, I will write it as the two electrons because the bond is the combination of the two electrons. Bond is the combination of two electrons. So just I am writing the bond in the terms of electrons, that's it. Now whenever the ethane is subjected to UV visible light, subjected to UV visible light, then which electronic transition takes place students? Sigma to sigma star because it is the saturated organic molecule. So sigma to sigma star. Sigma to sigma star. That is CH3. There is no change in the molecule. The molecule is one and same. Just one particular electron will be in the bonding molecular orbital only. And another one will excite to anti-bonding molecular orbital students. Anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now, since the excitation of electron is taking place, the 
from sigma bonding molecular orbital to sigma anti bonding molecular orbital we can say that this particular excitation is sigma to sigma star excitation and the transition with respect to this particular excitation is sigma to sigma star electronic transition so this is about sigma to sigma star students now what is electronic transition which is possible the second one is pi to pi star pi to pi star pi to pi star pi to pi star now what is this electronic transition this electronic transition involves the excitation of electron from pi bonding molecular orbital to pi anti bonding molecular orbital pi bonding molecular orbital to pi anti bonding molecular orbital now which class of molecules can be considered as the examples in which pi to pi star transition takes place which are unsaturated molecules without the heteroatom because unsaturated means alkenes and alkynes alkenes and alkynes will contain only the double bond in which uh, the pi to pi star transition is possible that is excitation of uh, the electron from bonding pi molecular orbital to anti bonding uh, pi molecular orbital takes place right so good example is ethene ethene that is ch2 double bond ch2 stress ch2 double bond ch2 now i will write uh, this as ch2 so i am not touching the sigma bond here what is happening students the flexible electrons are present which are a part of the pi bond since flexible electrons are present at a part of the pi bond only the excitation of those electrons takes place students so i am writing this ethane as so i am denoting the pi electrons with the blue color with the blue color with the blue color right now whenever the uv visible radiation is passed through this particular molecule through this particular molecule pi to pi star transition takes place pi to pi star transition takes place so there won't be change in the molecule the molecule remains as it is there won't be any change in the sigma bond there won't be any change in the ch2 now there won't be any change in one of the pi bonding molecular orbital and uh, out of these two two pi bonding molecular orbitals one will excite to one will excite to anti bonding molecular orbital so since uh, this particular electron out of the two one is exciting to the pi bonding molecular orbital this excitation is called as a pi to pi star excitation and the electronic transition with respect to pi to pi star excitation is called as pi to pi star electronic transition electronic transition so this is about the second electronic transition which is possible in the molecules which is possible in the molecules when the uv visible spectrum when the uv visible light in fact is passed through the molecules and the third is m2 sigma star students so third electronic transition about which we are going to discuss is m2 sigma star the name itself suggests that this particular transition involves the excitation of the electrons present on the non bonding molecular orbital to the sigma anti bonding molecular orbital excitation of electrons takes place from non bonding molecular orbital to sigma anti bonding molecular orbital 
Now, what are the class of molecules which can be considered as the examples in which N2 sigma star transition takes place? N2 sigma star electronic transition takes place. It should contain the heteroatom and heteroatom why? Because non-bonding electrons are present. So, it should contain the heteroatoms and it should be saturated because sigma excitation, right? So, sigma means saturated. So, what are the class of molecules which will be considered as, which can be considered as the examples for uh, this N2 sigma star students? It should contain the heteroatom and the saturated atom. So, let us take the uh, saturated means single bond should be there. There should not be any double bond. There should not be any double bond. So, example, let us take uh, the chloroform, CH3Cl, CHCCl students, chloroform, N2 sigma star, right. Now, wh what is the group number of the chlorine? It belongs to 7th group, since it belongs to 7th group, uh, it contains 7 electrons around. Out of the cell of seven electrons, one is participating in the bonding with the carbon and the remaining six electrons are around the chlorine and these six electrons around the chlorine will be in the form of three non-bonding pair of electrons. So, three non-bonding pair of electrons. One, two, three. And the remaining two, I will represent by blue color blue color right so this is what students chloroform this is chloroform right. now whenever it is subjected to uv visible light then as it comprises heteroatom what is heteroatom what have you explained it comprises the heteroatom and the saturated methyl group it undergo N2 sigma star electron transition resulting in the formation of uh, so there is no change in the moiety students CH3 Cl there is no change in these two electrons one non-bonding pair another non-bonding pair but here there will be a change that is out of the two non-bonding pair of electrons, one will excite to the, one will excite to the sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital. One will excite to the sigma anti-bonding molecular orbital. So, since the excitation of the non-bonding uh, electron is taking place uh, to the Sigma anti-bonding uh, molecular orbital, we can say that this particular excitation is uh, non-bonding uh, to sigma anti-bonding excitation and uh, the electronic transition with respect to this uh, particular non-bonding to sigma anti-bonding uh, excitation is called as uh, N2 sigma star uh, electronic transition. N2 sigma star electronic transition students. So, and the last with least energy. Last with least energy. So, already I have explained why it is having the least energy in the previous class. Is N2 pi star students. N2 pi star. N2 pi star. So, the name itself suggests that this particular transition involves the excitation of non-bonding or excitation of electrons which are present in non-bonding molecular orbital to pi anti-bonding molecular orbital. So, this electronic transition involves the excitation of electrons from non-bonding molecular orbital to pi anti-bonding molecular orbital. 
Now, which class of molecules which can be considered as the examples in which N2 pi star electronic transition takes place, students? As the transition involves a non bonding molecular orbitals, definitely we have to consider the heteroatom. Heteroatom. And this non bonding, the electrons are exciting from non bonding molecular orbital to pi anti bonding molecular orbitals. And pi bond is associated with the pi bond is pi anti bonding molecular orbital is associated with the which class of molecules? Unsaturated molecules. So unsaturation that is double bond should be present and this double bond should be directly attached to the heteroatom for the excitation of the electron from the non-bonding electron to the anti-bonding pi molecular orbital. So accordingly the example. So let us take the example of acetone students. So CH3 C double bond O CH3 so acetone right so in the acetone the heteroatom is present and unsaturation is present since uh, in the acetone heteroatom is present and unsaturation is present there is a probability of excitation of uh, the non bonding molecular orbital uh, to pi anti bonding molecular orbital that is electron excitation right now oxygen belongs to which group Oxygen belongs to sixth group. So since it belongs to sixth group, how many electrons should be around it? It how many electrons should be around it? Six electrons should be around it. Right. Out of six electrons, the two are participating in bonding with the carbon. Two electrons are participating in bonding with the carbon. The remaining uh, four electrons uh, around the oxygen will be in the form of uh, two non-bonding pair of electrons. So two non-bonding pair of electrons out of which I am representing one non-bonding pair of electron with the black color and the other two electrons I am representing with the blue color students. Now what is the molecule? What this molecule is? Acetone, right? This molecule is acetone. Acetone. Now whenever it is subjected to the UV visible light, then, then it undergo N2 pi star transition students. That is, there won't be any change in the moiety. So C, CH3 remains as it is, CH3 remains as it is, double bond O remains as it is, and one non-bonding pair of electron remains as it is, and out of the two non-bonding pair of electrons, out of the two non-bonding pair of electrons, one will be excited to pi anti-bonding. One will be excited to pi anti-bonding molecular orbital. Right. So as the excitation of the electron is taking place from a non-bonding molecular orbital to pi anti-bonding molecular orbital this excitation is called as a n2 pi star pi star excitation and the electronic transition with respect to n2 pi star electronic transition electronic excitation is called as a n2 pi star electronic transition electronic transition right so this is about uh, the types of electronic transition students, right? So in order to understand these types of uh, possible electronic transitions, whenever the UV visible sample is passed through the molecule, and whenever the UV visible light is passed through the sample or the molecule. So please do watch the previous video in order to understand this particular concept very clearly. I hope you understand understood this particular video. So thanks for watching students.